today we are going to discuss about financing options in non dc back transactions non dc back is non lc so obviously that is collection documents right as bankers are you are you financing collection documents tell me are you financing collection documents please speak up because this is a, I, i'm i'm repeating and this is a class where we have to discuss our practices and then we have to adapt the best practice right because majority are trade practitioners are in your banks are you financing collection transactions what is your answer now you are in two minds if you say yes then you are thinking whether then the sir will ask how right if you say no then i am going to ask you why not right okay are you financing tell me come on we are we are wasting time we are wasting time right now yes we do you do i yes sorry somebody tried to mention something uh you do yes okay uh are you are you are you financing every uh collection document or it, it is selected we can choose answer hmm what is that are you financing every single document coming to uh, your bank collection documents if the customer wants to finance it are you ready to do it we do for uh, dp and dea settlements dp dp of course i mean uh, there's no nothing called financing for dp no if it is dp then we we'll have to uh, give them a loan right sometimes for uh, acceptance bills sometimes for acceptance bills customers request you to finance the bill the exporters exporters bank so are you going to do it are you going to do it hmm? very poor response this is not what i am expecting from you guys right now when it comes to financing of collection documents you have to be very careful because the main reason is the no bank is going to give you any assurance the remitting bank will not give you any assurance uh, sorry not the remitting bank the collecting bank will not give you any assurance that they will pay you there won't be any assurance right so because of that you have to be very very careful when you are financing collection bills export collection bills uh the reason is what i have told you just now because you are not getting any assurance that you are going to get the money right uh 
But I know a few customers, they are insisting you to finance their bills. They are insisting you to finance their bills. The one reason is they think that the banks are there to finance your transaction. Right? So uh, because of that, they will come to the bank. But you should be able to say yes or no to the customers. You have to see all the pros and cons and weigh the risk and then decide whether you are going to do it or not. In, as a principle, what I would like to tell you is if you are deciding to purchase a bill, collection bill, right? You have to be very selective. Only it has to be limited only for few customers, only for few good customers, very good customers, honest, very good customers. With a proven track record, you have to do it, right? Uh, so the, the thing is, with that, with that, uh, you have to be very selective when you're financing the transactions. Okay, right. Now, before we decide to purchase a bill, collection bill, a bank must consider the credit standing of the exporter, KYC. It's very, very important, right? So it, it is very important, the credit standard of the uh, exporter or the KYC. You can see the board. Can you yes, see sir. the board? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you all are having URC five double two printed, done? Huh? Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Keep it with you. And uh, I think Menaka needs to upload the UCP six hundred. Uh, he will do it now. So once he uh, uploads the UCP 600, better get that one also printed. Keep a printed copy. Don't try to refer to the uh, electronic <laughs> part. Right? Keep, keep the. Uh, are you having the UCP 600? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have we given? Uh, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, personal, personal ones. Right. So anyway, uh, for for the benefit of the people who are not having a UCP six hundred, I will upload it, and then uh, those who are not having the UCP six hundred, better get a printout and keep it. Right. Even this. Uh, normally, we are trying to send you these uh, class uh, handouts at least two days uh, before the class. So better if you can get a printout and keep it with you so that you can write whatever the additional things I am talking. Then the credit standing of the exporter is a must. The credit worthiness of the buyer. That also we have to check. If you are going to, uh, if you are deciding to purchase a collection bill, you have to check the credit worthiness of the buyer. Why? Why? Why buyer? What about the bank? What about the buyer's bank? Hmm? Why we are we are worried about credit worthiness of the buyer? Tell me. We are wasting time. Right? data and me at the water why we are worried about trade business of the buyer because in collection not the bank the customer the importer has to pay so if that guy is a crook and if he doesn't have the uh, money to do the transactions to do the payment then the exporter can forget about the money. So that is why we had to uh, see the credit worthiness of the 
Vale. Then we have to think about the term of the bill, whether it's DA or DP. Whether it's DA or DP. If it is DP, our risk is less. Because if it is DP, we are, we are sure that we, are, we might get the money in about six, seven days' time. If it is a DA, then the uh, draft will be accepted to settle in a future date. And on the due date, on the due date, if the buyer doesn't pay, then you will not get the money. Simple as that. So the risk is very much more. Then whether the exporter to the bank retains control of the goods until the buyer pays. That's also we have to see. If it is a DP, yes, we are keeping the control over the goods until you pay. Once you pay only, we will give the documents, bill of lading and all, for him to uh, clear the goods, right? But now, if it is DA, any guy will come and accept the draft, and they'll have to uh, they have to get the money after the due date. So by that time, if he doesn't pay, bye bye. Right? Then. Uh, country to which the goods are being exported. Another very important thing. Country to which the goods are being exported. Why? What's the reason? What's the reason? Why we are worried about the country? Hmm? There are some sanctioned countries. If it's a Sanctioned countries, you won't be able to get the money. Very good. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Huh? One thing, sanctioned country. Other one, if there's a country risk, no money in the country, no no sanction, but restrictions for export payments, remittances. Then Apple Lanka then thing. Neither. The Middle we are we are going through that agony. Most of our uh, uh, import payments have been restricted. So the exporter will not get the money, right? So we, that's why country to which the goods are being exported is very important. Amount of the bill, why amount of the bill? If the bill amount is about 2 million US dollars, US dollars, 2 million, are you going to purchase it? Are you going to purchase it? Very risky, right? Bill, bill amount is big amount, right? And uh, there's no guarantee that you will get the money. You are exposed. The political, economic, and legal conditions in the importing country, countries. I discussed that. Whether there are any exchange control or similar restrictions in the importing country. Same thing I discussed. Take Sri Lanka as an example. The present Sri Lanka. Right? Present Sri Lanka as an example. Because we have a scarcity for uh, foreign exchange. And a lot of restrictions are in force. Whether there are any exchange controls or similar restrictions in the importing country. Bank's right of recourse to the drawer. 
our customer, the exporter. Bank's right of recourse to the drawer, exporter, that we had to check. If the transaction is covered by a policy taken out by the exporter with a government trade insurance agency, for example, a SLASIC, right? This will enable the bank to be largely secured if the policy is assigned to the bank. Right? If we have taken a SLASIC policy, SLASIC. SLASIC. What do you mean by SLASIC policy? What do you mean by SLASIC? Sri Lanka Export Credit Insurance Corporation. Sri Lanka Export Credit Insurance Corporation. Right. There, the people will give you an insurance or an insurance over your exports. Right. And more or less, they, are, they guarantee the uh, export proceeds. So, this is a very good one. So, if you have a SLASIC guarantee, then that will be another good security for you. Then always ensure that when bill is purchased, it is drawn on approved drawees within the individual limits for such limits. Right? Always ensure that when a bill is purchased, it is drawn on an approved drawee within the individual limits for such limits. Now, when we are uh, purchasing documents, right? when you are purchasing documents, each bank, now for example, if you take uh, Standard Chartered Bank, SCB, SCB, each, each bank, or HSBC, they have their appetite for certain countries, certain banks. Right? So based on that, it will be rated. Those banks are rated and you can do business with those banks. And if you are dealing with a uh, less developed bank list in a less developed country, then you are exposing yourself for a massive risk. So those things you have to check, right? Always ensure that when a bill is purchased, it is drawn on approved drawing within the individual limits for such limits. The final one, advance against specific bills only. Advance against specific bills only. Specific bills. We are not going to discount all the bills, we are going to be selective, we can choose a good ones, good countries, good banks, then we are safe. Now we'll, the second one we say, usance collection, in other words, supply credit, usance collection or supply credit. The bankers acceptance on collection bills of amortization. So both we are going to do. First, we'll discuss about the usance collection, supplies credit, and then we'll move on to bankers acceptance on collection bills or amortization. Now here, if you take this uh, example, collection bills, users DA, users DA, right? Product cycle of users DA. Now, see, between the exporter and the importer, you have the commercial contract. So based on the commercial contract, the exporter will ship the goods, number two, and then give the BL to the importer. Okay. Now, 
เอ่อเมื่อ the uh, importers bank accept the bill right once the once the importer accept the bill then the exporters bank will ex accept the bill and then then they will send the cable to uh, the collecting or presenting bank now the importer draw draw V right they will present the documents and then Uh, the customer will accept the draft. Once the customer accept the draft, what we will do is we will inform the <coughs> remitting bank. We will inform the remitting bank. Look, we have uh, uh, we have a DA bill, and it has been accepted by blah 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 blah. Uh, just for your information, so the, on the maturity. We will get the money, right? So likewise, they have accepted the draft number six, and we have given the documents to them. And then <coughs> the draw on maturity, the importer will come to the bank and he will settle the bill. So once he settles the bill, we will deduct our charges and then remit the money to the remitting bank. And the remitting bank will give the check. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, then the remitting bank will uh, give the money uh, money to the export. That's a normal way. But if you want to discount the bill, if you want to discount the bill, now what I'm going to do? On the due date, on the due date, the importer will not settle the bill. Importer will not settle the bill. In a scenario like that, we will advise the collecting bank. Our only obligation is to advise the remitting bank without any delay. On the same day, they will advise the document, uh, the non-payment. Right. That's it. After that, we don't have anything to do. Otherwise, if they pay only, we will on the maturity we will send the money to the remitting bank to pay to the order of principal. Now, after sending the documents. After sending the documents, number three collection order, the number four collection. At this particular point, at this particular point, uh, if you say the maturity period is thirty day and uh, ninety days, before ninety days, in about another uh, in about weeks time, from the day they ship the goods, within a weeks time. The collecting uh, the the remitting bank. Has sent the goods to the uh, documents to the sorry documents to the collecting or presenting bank, and this guy, the exporter, the principal, might ask the remitting bank, "Look, I want you to discount the bill. I want you to discount the bill. So you have to discount the bill. How we are going to do it?" First, you will see whether the country risk and the bank risk of the collecting and presenting bank, right? And you have to check the KYC of your customer as well as KYCC, so your customer's customer of the import, right? Then, then he can decide how we are going to risk. Uh, Discount the bill, but to purchase the bill, uh, and and now we are going to advance the money. Okay, right. Then there is another one, acceptance for award. Acceptance for award.
What do you mean by acceptance of Quran? Uh, simple, we say, amalization. Amalization. Right? Here, what is happening is, this is an alternative to straightforward DA. Release documents against acceptance for a while. That's how we are, we are within the transaction. Means that the bill of exchange must be accepted by the drawee and then guaranteed for payment at maturity by the drawee's bank. Right? Only then maybe maybe the documents be released. Right? Release documents against acceptance for a while means that the bill of exchange must be accepted by the drawee and then granted as a guaranteed for payment at maturity. And this is how it is it's happening. We have to we have to say uh, very specifically we have to say please release the documents against acceptance for our that wording should be there right clear and once you say uh, release documents against acceptance for our and once you accept the draft You are covering the future of that particular person. Right? Uh, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Please ask me. And then I got to the questions at the But they got hit it up. Yeah. Stabilization. Who has to give the who has to give the undertaking? The bank. I thought Which uh, bank? you in the uh, uh Droy's bank. Droy's right? bank. Yeah. So then uh you they they you send that message through a swift, is it? That Yes, you, you send that message through a shift. Right? Uh, Those days. Uh, except AV uh, 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 Huh? No, do you mention uh, accepted uh, for a while? You, you mention it like that itself, or not, uh, do you just say it's been accepted? No. Very good question. Very good, very valid questions. Put that on my mother? Penny. Huh? Pe uh, Penny. Penny. Penny, sir. Yeah. Yeah. From which bank? NTB. NTB, right. Right. A very valid question. When we are sending the. Uh, when, we, when we are. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, Avalizing the transaction. When you have a blessing transaction, you have to give an irrevocable undertaking. Irrevocable undertaking to say that the that you will be paying the money on the maturity. It's an irrevocable undertaking. Just like a LC. It's a very good alternative for the LC transactions. There is no dog checking or lazy. But LC, we are giving an irrevocable undertaking, issuing bank. Here also, the collecting or the presenting bank will give you an irrevocable undertaking. And there you have to say, release documents against acceptance for a while. Sorry, uh, that's the instruction you will get as the importance bank. Release documents against acceptance for a while. So that then you will ask the customer, do you, do you want to? Avalize the draft. Avalize can watch the English version and Emilia. When Oxford Dictionary gave it, they avalize can again. It's a French word. Poor Aval can again. French word. 
then uh, when you when you release the offer to release the documents against acceptance for a while, then you will uh, accept the drafts and then send the note. A note take one The draft has been analyzed. Draft has been analyzed. In the actor, analyzed. L I is it E D. A B L I is it E D. Analyzed. To pay on such and such a date. A the end on a Right? Then uh, in good old days when we were doing about I'm talking about 30, 40 years back, right? Don't ask my age. All those list parties from Bangkula, at a Galazine, right? Is the water? Happy? Is the house luckily? We draft take a my happy Yavani. We draft take a Piavano. Hey, you can instrument take it. If, if they want to file a case, they have to file the case on the draft because there, there should be a financial document. The financial document is a draft. Right? But later, what all the banks, what they did was, even we, right? Are a draft taken there on a draft taken except Karanona, a draft taken there on a draft taken except Karanota. You have to say, Accepted on devilization to be settled on such and such a date, you know, on the face of it, write it, and then put the stamp. Then put the stamp. Then it's in the customer accept current or drafting. Eka doing math down. Double uh, guarantee. Customer is also accepting and bank is also putting their endorsement to say yes even we do confirm now can a bank confirm just like that can a bank confirm the payment just like that yes or no 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 then why why uh one thing it has to be a good customer uh, -huh. uh the you have to have a avalized limit also very good you have to have a avalized limit also you have to have a avalized limit also just like uh, opening lcs right because you are giving an irre irrevocable undertaking In the, you have to have a avalized limit so you have to mark the limit and then at the uh, acceptance. Okay, clear? Right. Bank advances again, never as bills, right? <coughs> uh, where export collection bills are novelized by the importer's bank, the letter unconditionally guaranteed to honor payment at maturity. The risk is against the importers. Right? The following general guidelines apply to AVL should be noted. Endorsements examined to ensure that it is indeed an evaluation or not. Endorsement taker, we have to check Examine to ensure that it is indeed an evaluation or not. What do you mean by that? Mangislakwan and Nikama draft a sign card of the Later, later, the customer has accepted, the bank has also put their stamp, and then authorized signatories, signatures are there. That's it. And later, if something goes wrong, the bank will bank might say. We have not analyzed. We are just 
verify the signature of the customer. Finish. Right? They can do the way can they? We note a note ticket in our last in a person. A bank and countries should be checked to ensure that they are acceptable for the amount and the period of the bill. This is a normal thing. Then signatures on the bank avalization should be checked to ensure that the signatories are authorized to commit the avalizing bank. True, right? Where the amount is large, telex confirmation may be obtained. The same scenario if the amount is about three million dollars, US dollars three million. US dollars three million now to come on. Abhi, we'd have to send the uh, what do you call this? Uh, Swift. Right? Huh? Swift. Swift. Swift message. Pardon? Swift message. Swift message. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have, we have to send the Swift message. And there is have to send the Swift message. And there is to send the Swift the fireproof chap because that's a financial document if something goes wrong later we want to find a case that's a financial document don't keep those drafts along with the other documents or anything outside where every tom dick and harry has the access right those things you have to keep it separately then uh, Signatures on the bank evaluation should be checked to ensure that the signatories are authorized to commit the evaluation bank. Important. Whether the amount is large, the telex confirmation may be obtained. If the amount is large, the telex confirmation can be obtained. The bill should be direct for present maturity. Right of recourse against the export customer in the event of dishonor. Right? This is the collection analyze using DA uh, processing. One minute then now, blend. Between the import and the exporter, we have the commercial contract. Then, based on the commercial contract, uh, the exporter will do the shipment and give the documents to the uh, remitting bank. The remitting bank will send the documents to the collecting bank. Then, the same thing like uh, users one, right? They present it to the importer. Importer will accept the draft, and then we give the shipping documents to the importer to enable him to carry out with the uh, clearance and then then on maturity on maturity uh, those people will pay What happened to item 9 and 10? Maturity is 
ஆனா என்னங்க தெரியணும் இமீடியட்லி விவில் நம்பர் confirming that we have avalized the draft then immediately the remitting bank will send the uh, give the money to the exporter give the money to the exporter so uh, in other words the importer has finance the exporter right so based on the this thing the on maturity the importer will receive the money sorry uh, importers bank the collecting bank will uh, receive the money and they debit the customer and remit the money out number 10 is charges they will send the money out and then only uh, the importer will settle the bill right and on maturity we don't have to wait till we don't have to wait till the importer pays because you have given the bank has given an irrevocable undertaking so based on that the bank has to pay just like you see right it would have a settle kala then clear nahi dekha tha right general guidelines to evaluation endorsements examine to ensure that it is indeed an evaluation and not not a verification of drawy signature now very important part take it endorsement examine to ensure that it is indeed an evaluation and not a verification of drawy signature atam mega value me thiyenna ona evaluation kina wachane ema nattam api ganni ne because later they can say okay uh we thought for verification of the drawy signature mari to ekai kiliko ehem karanna ba are pa dena wala evile kelimma uh apida denna ona um mugadde me endorsement ekak very clearly endorsement ekak denna ona the bank the bank has avalized the bill kelimma then the bank and countries checked bank and country checked then signatures we have to check confirmation to lexus if the amount is large if the amount is large we will have to send the confirmation then bill should be the arrears of presentment at the maturity right then the right of recourse to export customer in the event of this right Okay. Advantages of avalanche collections for users LCs. The both are functionally, functionally is yes, very much similar. Both are giving irrevocable undertakings. But what are the advantages of avalanche collections for users LC? lower usage of limits and document check in not required lc wala thin lokum amaru vede document check in not required hence no issue of discrepant documents purely uh, purely for credit support on accepted collection all right i think now we have completed the session now it's quiz time and you guys can can you attend attempt the first one what is the answer 
which of the following is not acceptable way of indicating the maturity date of a term bill? Give me answer A, B, C, D. Penny, what is it? Hmm? What is the answer? D. Huh? D. 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 A, B, C, D. E, D. D. 30 days after BL date, 23rd June 2007, pay. How many people say, I don't know Then Lamai, Larsenavilla, Suduela, Gazetalati, Matatama Balanda Berry, and Mono the Indigo than than Right? Thirty days after BL date, twenty third June, two thousand seven. What do you think about it? Is it a, a determinable date? Yes or no? They have given the BL date also, 23rd June. I think it's 30 days. Who knows the calculate can Tell me. Yes, sir. Can we calculate? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's very easy. 30 days after BL date. 23rd June, 23rd June, 30 days ago, and the maturity. At 30 days from site pay, site pay. Is it all right? Acceptable or not acceptable? Yeah. Acceptable. Acceptable. The second B, on 23rd July 2007, pay. Is it acceptable or not? Hmm? Not acceptable. Yes. And right? Then 30 days after arrival of goods, pay. 30 days after arrival of goods. Is it a determinable date? No. no. Yes. Right? No. No. 30 days after arrival of goods. We don't know when the goods will arrive. Right? Very ambiguous. Very vague. Eva gya kapi ka nangan ne. Again, the answer again. Domestic answer is C. C. Then, name four issues and problems that the bank handling collections often have to deal with. Collection order is. What is the collection order? A, B, C, or D. B. Answer is? B. B or B? B, B. Number two, what? Huh? Yeah. Correct answer is B. A set of instructions for a bank. Right? Uh, the other one, an exporter is worried about the financial stability of an overseas customer. In which of these collection scenarios can the exporter maintain control over the goods? An exporter is worried about the financial stability of an overseas customer. In which of these collection scenarios can the exporter maintain control over the goods? A ka pull on the pull on the yeah. 
ोल ഇംഗ്ലീഷ്യ collective bank other bank is present in bank munar unana right how many how many collective bank one as per the above example how many present in banks are there one again one right okay i think 
Guys, uh, apa itu kelo? Tidak tu kamu. Oh, kenapa ini? Oh, baik, right, okay. I think the seed for documentary collections. Then I'll have to go to the seventh floor and get this guy. The next uh, one. Uh, get ready with your UCP 600 if people are having UCP 600. And the others, please go through your URC 522. And are there any areas we have you are not sure? Please let me know. Right? You are see five double take it up balanda. I'll give you two minutes or two minutes at the to shift to the new one. Uh, please go through the URC five double twos and uh, get ready with whatever the gray areas to discuss with me because uh, it can be questioned or tested in each areas. Put a shoot shoot the leveling away now. Take him the a put a balan. Thank you. We want only two minutes. Right. Uh, can you see me now? Yes. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the presentation. Okay. Okay. Now this presentation is also with you. Now we are going to start documentary credits. All right. Okay. Now. Last few weeks, we discussed about the payment methods. Uh, under payment methods, we have discussed the open account. Then we discussed about, uh, what do you call that? Uh, advanced payment, right? And then we discussed about documentary collection. Documentary collection, of course, we discussed in detail. 
uh, all the pros and cons and things now what you have to do is as a bankers you have to go through the urc finable to and read and try to understand and if you have any any issues right i want you all of you to finish the urc finable to urc finable to at least read once at least read once right the entire 26 uh, entire 26 uh, articles at least read once and if you can't understand any areas please call me uh, i don't know whether i have given my number to you guys uh, in the first class right if not just jot down my number Zero double seven. Zero double seven. Six one three. Six one three. Five nine eight five. Fifty nine eighty five. Five nine eight five. Okay. Uh, please read and if you come across any. Gray areas. If you can't understand, please call me. Because uh, normally, I uh, I used to discuss with you in uh, person, but now because of these issues, you okay. we, we won't be able to uh, see each other. But we want to uh, read and understand the articles, right? So I'll give you one week for you to go through the articles. Some of the articles we have already discussed. Only few articles you have to see. Uh, you might be having issues. If you have any issues, please call me. Sorry, Sorry can't hear you. Hello. Did, did somebody want to ask any questions? Hello. No sir. No. Right. Hey manang, we will give phone signal mute. Karela, abhi bolmo. Abe ika ba session nega. Right. Now today we are going to discuss the last payment method. That is. Documentary credit, popularly known as LCs, letter of credit, LCs. But the correct word is documentary credit. And uh, the learning objectives, what we are going to learn under this session, is what a documentary credit is and its main features. And then we are going to discuss about the principles that determine the processing and interpretation of documentary credits. Then the responsibilities and risk of each parties involved, the various types of DCs and ICC rules for DC operations. Right? ICC rules, of course. Uh, whenever I'm, uh, I discuss certain areas, I will try to like what I did with the uh, URC findable two. I'll try to discuss with you about the. Uh, rules, right? Okay. Now we see a definition. Now all three uh, payment methods what we have learned so far, the banks are not giving any undertaking for the payment. Well, especially. Open account and advance payment, the banks are not getting involved. Even the documents are not routing through the banks, right? They send documents direct to the uh, buyer from the seller. Nothing. Then collection, yes, the banks are getting involved, but are the banks giving any undertaking to pay under collection? No. No. 
except for one instance. What is that? Analyzation. Analyzation. Very good. Analyzation. Right? I'll be that kind of class. I'm going class. Now, the LCs, LCs, it's an irrevocable undertaking given by the bank to pay. Now, let, let's see the definition. A documented credit is an irrevocable undertaking issued by a bank on behalf of the buyer, importer. To the seller, exporter, to pay for goods and our services, provided that the seller presents the documents, provided that the seller presents the documents which comply fully with the terms and conditions of the documentary. Right? Clear? A documented credit is an irrevocable undertaking issued by a bank. On behalf of the buyer, uh, the, the buyer is the importer, to the seller, exporter, to pay for goods and or services provide, provided that the seller presents documents which comply fully with the terms and conditions of the documentary credit. And there are main features of this definition. If you take certain uh, uh, features, right? I, I can extract a few words and then we can discuss. One is irrevocable undertaking given by a bank. Everybody, a documented trade is an irrevocable undertaking issued by a bank or given by a bank. Irrevocable undertaking uh, given by a bank. Right? One, one moment. Right. Uh, today we are going to continue the class for at least uh, three hours or three and a half hours or four hours, normal four hours. At, uh, but only thing is, it's very difficult to have a lecture or session, online sessions for what four long hours is is cumbersome, right? So what I thought was like what we are having in the class. Uh, sharp three o'clock. We'll take a small break of fifteen minutes, and then we'll restart the lectures at 3.15. So you, you also can have a cup of tea at your place. You must be the luckiest people. Here, we don't have anything. Canteen close, right? One thing is that the But only thing is, it's difficult for me to keep on talking. From morning, I am talking from 10.30, right? So, uh, we'll have a break at 3 o'clock and we'll restart at 3.15 and then we'll continue. We'll see what's the outcome, right? Uh, so, the main features of the definition, irrevocable undertaking given by a bank. Irrevocable undertaking. What do you mean by irrevocable? What do you mean by yeah. irrevocable? <coughs> Cannot be revoked. Cannot be? Revoked. Cannot be revoked. Okay. 
Simple words, sir. Huh? You can't go back on your words. Pardon? You can't go back on your. If you are given a confirmation, you can't go back. You can't go back on that. You can't go back. You can. You can go back. You can do amendments. But you are not doing any amendments to your LCs. You are not cancelling the LCs before the maturity. You do. Yeah, yeah. That cannot be recalled. Ah, uh ah. -huh. And that cannot be recalled. Madam, my dear, I will not do that. Consent of the both parties needed. Ah. Huh? Consent of the both parties needed. Yes, consent of all parties. Consent of all the parties. Without the consent of the parties, you can't amend or cancel any irrevocable instrument. What is the opposite of irrevocable? Revocable. Revocable. Revocable is the opposite of irrevocable, and that that means. You can change either the opener, uh, importer, or the exporter, or the confirming bank can change the LC as they wish. Right? Uh, have you seen revocable LCs? Have no, you come sir. across revocable LCs? No. Can they open? Can they open? Hmm. Can they open? We have to open LCs. What do you call it? That's not enough. That's not enough. Right? But very, very, very rare. Right? It depends on certain customers. Right? I mean, normally we discourage revocable LCs. Because it's a high risk. Now here, irrevocable undertaking given by a bank, undertaking that is that it agrees not to amend or cancel without the consent of the beneficiary or the confirmed bank or the confirmed bank. Now, tell me who are the parties to a LC? Who are the parties to a documentary credit? Can somebody start it? Issuing bank. Issuing bank. Then. Beneficiary. Beneficiary. Confirmed bank is available. Confirmed bank. Okay. Advising bank. Advising bank. Okay. First, first we'll collect the thing. ंग Applicant. Applicant not a party. Applicant is not a party to LC. Uh, applicant is not a party to the LC. What about the others? Okay, if I put the key now, applicant is not a party to the LC. Who comes to the bank to open the LC? Applicant. Who comes to the bank to open the LC? Applicant. Huh? Applicant. Applicant. Who comes to the bank to do the changes to the LC? Amendments in the bank. Applicant. 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 So still you are saying applicant is not a party to the LC. Is it correct? Correct. Correct. You are very confident. What about the others? Correct. Yes, correct. Correct. Yeah. Why? The undertaking is between the issuing bank and the beneficiary. 
ஒன்ிகாபிகன் irrevocable undertaking on behalf of the applicant right and by applicant is not a part to the lc right so there are make a beneficiary correct issue in bank correct confirm in bank correct invest in bank make an invest in bank is not a part to the lc invest in bank is not a part to the lc right hey who is the advising bank who is the advising bank advising bank is in which domicile in which country importers or exporters importers or exporters export import hmm export exporters country most probably exporters bank right yeah. advising bank but they are not giving any undertaking mm-hmm. or guarantee for them nothing they are just a post office they are just a post office when we are discussing the advising bank we'll discuss it right so in simple the parties to lc is the beneficiary issuing bank and confirming bank if any confirming bank if any right then banks only deal with documents and not the goods banks only deal with documents and not the goods மேக்கப் ஆகாத தேன ஆர்டிகல் எங்க உங்களுக்கு பிரிண்ட் அவுட் சீனனா மேக்கப் பண்ண கதாக அண்ணோனா மே மெதன பேங்க்ஸ் only deal with documents and not not the goods கேனேகட UCB 600 sub article 14a this correct this correct மேக்கட அட்வென்ட் ஒன தா ஆர்டிகல் எடுத்து நம்ம ஆர்டிகல் 5 ஆர்டிகல் 5 ஆர்டிகல் 5 எக்க ஏகட அட்வென்ட் ஒன ஆர்டிகல் 5 எக்க இது கேனோ uh documents versus goods services and performance banks deal with documents and not with goods services or uh, performance to which the documents uh, may relate i'm sorry bam எக்ஸ்கியூஸ் கரண்ட் மம்மே அக்குரு அல்ல அல்ல கேவண்ணே மாவுதே கேனாவ மகி ஸ்பெக் ஸ்பெக்ஸ்டி கேனாவ உதே கிளாஸ் கிட்ட ஐல கேஸ் கரியாம கேஸ் கதினா கண்ணடி தே கேதர ரைட் கேஸ் க கிதரே மங்க அல தீன கண்ணடி தே கேதர நீங்க கேந்த மம்மி போகாம அக்குழு அல்லலா கே வந்து மட்டும் சப்போர்ட் ஏதேனும் அண்ட் தென் யூசிபி சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஆர்டிகல் ஃபோர்டீன் ஏ தட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ இஃப் யூ டுவெண்ட் ஆர்டிகல் ஃபோர்டீன் ஏ கியூல வாங்க ஐ கேட் வெரி கிளியர்லி கேனோ வி ஆர் ஓன்லி டீலிங் வித் டாக்குமெண்ட்ஸ் நாட் வித் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் த ஃப்ரேஸ் which comply fully with the terms and conditions of the documentary page the phrase which comply fully with the terms and conditions of the documentary page refers to the fact that the undertaking to pay is conditional upon the terms of the credit being made which complies fully with the terms and conditions of the documentary page ek abhi kyu bane
A documented trade is an irrevocable undertaking issued by a bank on behalf of the buyer, provided that the seller presents the documents which comply fully with the terms and conditions of the documentary trade. Right. Then application of UCP, all documented trades should be handled according to the ICC code of practice known as Uniform Customs and Factors for Documentary Trade. The current code is defined in the 2007 revision, ICC publication number 600. They make it 600 degrees. Um, ICC publication number 700 degrees. Maga, you know. The main part of us, you know, that thing. Over there. Next time, repeat exam make a current way in UCP 700 degrees. One of the changes are like a man that need that down, right? They can the demo may park or marry Panaganda Balan. Now uh, we have already got in good terms 2020. Uh, I will discuss with you guys uh, this time, right? Up for the UCP in, in good terms 2020. Only okay. Right. Then BC as a method of payment. This I have discussed. Right. Parties to a documentary trade. Parties to a documentary trade. Here, the party's name and the terminology as per the UCP 600 given. Spend about 30 seconds, read it, importer, buyer, as per the UCP 600, we call them applicant. Importer's bank, what is that? Issuing bank. Hmm? Issuing bank. Bank in exporter's country. I see. I see. I see. Exporters, other banks, optional, confirming bank. Okay. Then exporter, we call it right? So those are the parties and the terminology as per the UCP 600. An irrevocable DC can only be cancelled or amended with the agreement of all parties to the DC. The DC application. The DC applicant is not a party to the DC contract, and as a result, the DC may be cancelled without the applicant's agreement. The DC contract is between the issuing bank, the beneficiary, and the confirming bank, if any. Is it clear? Clear the may explain can only the mayor or nanny. Right. Then the bank's consideration prior to issuing a DC. This is very important. When you are going to issue a DC to one of your customers, now what are the things you should check with them? The, as an issuing bank, you are giving an irrevocable undertaking to the beneficiary. You are giving an irrevocable undertaking on behalf of the, your customer to the beneficiary. So because of that, if you are going to issue a LC, since you are going to give an irrevocable undertaking, make sure that you are having sufficient, um, what do you call this, uh, facility. Sufficient facility covered by our importer's security. Because otherwise, if you are going to, without having any facilities, if you are going to uh, just give an undertaking to the uh, exporter, what's going to happen? If there's a claim or something happens, then 
you don't have any facility, right? So because of that, facilities is a must. As the DC constitute a definite obligation for the issuing bank to pay against presentation of complaint, uh, uh, sorry, compliant documents, compliant documents. Hence, the customer should have an appropriate and adequate import facility. Very important, right? The facility is a must. Then the general security agreement. How many banks are having general security agreements for their customers? NTB, do you have? Hmm? What is the general security agreement? How many banks are having? Uttarayana. Nathya Balang in now, Ulang Uttarayana. How many banks? NTB, do you have one? Sinad. Commercial? Do you have? Is it? Is Felix there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you have one general security agreement? Yeah, the gloss is the general letter of state of general general letter of state uh, of NTB. But I'm not sure about the. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about you. Yeah, you're not in trade, no? Yes, sir. Yeah. But uh, what about the other bankers? NDB. Do you have? I think almost all the banks are having this general security agreement. Only issue is, only issue is, it will be handled and signed and get the customer to sign by, not by trade guys. That will be done by? Branch. Branch. Huh? The branch. branch. Sorry. Signed by Sorry. the branch. By the branch. Branch again. Nang hari adui ne the ogla nte LC sen ne gula kene corporate customers ta kene. Account manager. Account manager. Relationship manager. Because this is a security documentation. This is a security documentation to provide the following rights to the bank. Pledge undertaking, settlement authority, and right of recourse. All three, comma thena may general security agreement. In in simple, because this agreement runs to pages about 10, 11, 12 pages. And they got thena. I am not being sure thena. Could you put a copy? When 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 we are going to. Give the facility to the customer. Okuma agree on the passi and a security documentation is done. Nobody done. Nobody up again. No, make a sign can make a make better sign can a better sign can a better initial legal and within a full signature legal and you are gay down of you know so get you know Okamoga the name the way my trials is in a signature we say that give it you better give it 21,000 signatures give away. Origin Mahindra and Lanka are again done. They have again done, right? Make it, you know, signature like a Paula Pisakitre, a big Hama Page Jacama, initial Karna, okay, Phil Karatangola, initial Karna, full signature Gana, Kumukana Gana. When, when the customer is informed that your yeah, facility is done, we are prepared to grant you the facility. And only thing is, there are a few security documentations. Can you sign these things? Like, no, Agala Gala. A lot of customer in a persona, Krithin Pinagil in Katagane. Right? Kinikin of the Sankarna. 
अबे आसान करने नहीं आगे मारना मारने तो ठीक है लेकिन डकस हितान्नी नहीं कीवान ने नहीं अबे पेंडल पेंडल तो ऐंगोल है अबे तो तीन अंगिल तो यान ने गया हुआ अंगिल तो यान गया हुआ मैं क्या चाहिए ना everything under the sun and moon right ono har deyak vela berudunu we always say lc sula api kiyanne it is based on the documentation right without any recourse to the customer without any recourse to the customer api ewa thamai igena ganne dada adath igena ganne anne ewa ge thamai right without recourse to the customer have a api meke okkoma kiyala kiyala even though it is without recourse to the customer it is recourse to the it will be recourse to the customer kiyala kara pola ganna miniya ara ikko ekkeneka da assan karanne kiyawanne harita kiyuwoth meka assan karanne ne eka bank eka eme eka eme ikko wage thiyenne when i was at uh, hsbc one of the guys uh, i think ispat ispat karama kila ispat karama kila ne me the company was uh, owned by lakshmi metal the world largest steel manufacturer uh, their plant is in kazakhstan and is a massive one they have uh, the plant ek thin වෙනම කසකස්තාන වල IK කියන ඉස්පත් කරම IK city එකක් තියෙන්නේ IK city about 8000 people are working in the plant 8000 uh, people including their families right that's including their families they have the own schools the own uh, cinemas right america it's, it's like a city it's like a city जनरल we are going to fix us to the wall no abitam kutiyanne denna if you want the cost business yes one baat se dhanga okay sir no problem we will do the business ap etende back foot ga eno gila bohu defensive stroke ekak gahana thamai shape wenne right oya ge wenna lab 99.9% of our customers they never go through it because we give this documentation to them at the time when we announce them that the facility is done now you can use the facility go among then own ekak asan kala ganno right unna hari api wala dakuno telsi sola we have a security uh, to the bank and under this general security agreement right if you have time please ask for one of the documentations a uh, security document api ekata gsa ekena tfg ekena trade finance general agreement ekena ilange rm sa ekati ilagena kiyola balanna then status report on the beneficiary depending on the value and type of goods it is out of the ordinary import trading line status report on the beneficiary so we let us see who are they then the goods Cons consideration should be given to whether the dc is been open to import goods that are considered usual for the particular customer goods for example if the famous uh furniture people ati kure or eh kure the non famous furniture guys if they are importing 
tomatoes, if they are importing potatoes, bee onions, then you have to think twice. Why they are opening LCs? To import potatoes. Almari, means good to have the potatoes on there. Anyway, you have to see whether for that you should, uh, these goods, what are uh, the, these goods that you are going to import and is usual for the particular customer. Then workability of the DC. Workability of the DC, can I? The question, does the transaction make sense? Does the transaction make sense? Should always be addressed before issuing a LC. What do you mean by that? Does the transaction, does the transaction make sense? Elsia can't be in a comb, but I'm not a bank here. Ogan drank up from my LC applications, Ghana, 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 and now. Okay, a pea may we let us see whether there's any ambiguous clauses, whether this makes sense, certain clauses, right? Before we open the issues, before we issue the LC, otherwise. You are putting your customer into trouble. Some other LCs man, they can I will not know. Before, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, the payment will be subject to a, whatever the certificate from some uh, government authority. So until you get that. Certificate, you can't do the payment, uh, even a site one. So it doesn't make sense, right? The entire, uh, I mean, the forcefulness of LC has gone, right? Then insurance. Why insurance is uh, important as per the related in term? An original insurance policy should be provided by the applicant with bank's interest in the policy noted. Always in the interest, the bank's interest should be noted. In other words, the policy should have been assigned to the bank. Right? Why are we are asking for the insurance as per the input term? As per the input term, why are we are asking for the uh, insurance. Hmm? For example, uh, CIF, the common one. CIF, LCI, are we going to ask for the insurance from the exporter? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Uh, trade Karnagati then no. Cost insurance free. Right. Yeah. If it is FOB. From the importer. From the importer. The, the responsibility is with the importer. Then the importer has to, importer has to, uh, what do you call this, uh, submit the insurance. Uh, insurance document before we open the LC. Before we open the LC. So those are the bank's consideration prior to issuing the DC. Right? We'll continue from where we have stopped. Now we are going to discuss about the benefits and disadvantages in document credit operations. Benefits and disadvantages in document credit operations, LC operations. Uh, first, we'll talk about the benefits, and for the buyer, for the buyer, uh, payments are made on his behalf in return for documents that represent 
the goods and give him ownership of them. The benefits for the buyer is the payments are made on his behalf in return for the documents because we are, if it is a site LC, we, we do the payment and we give the documents to the buyer so that he can give the ownership of the goods, right? If it is a uh, uh, usance bill, then they will accept the draft, the financial document, and then we'll hand over the, uh, uh, what, what do you call this, uh, shipping documents to the buyer so that they can go and uh, get the goods cleared, right? So until they accept the draft, or until they, they are prepared to get the documents, we will not debit their account. But in DCs, especially in DCs, whether you all know whether the customer pays us or not, if it is a side bill, if it is a side bill, whether the customer settle the bill or not we are going to debit the customer sorry we are going to uh, send the money to the beneficiary we are going to send the money to the beneficiary by debiting what we can't debit customer because customer has not paid but we have to send the money to the beneficiary why why if the customer has not paid but still we have to send the uh, money to the beneficiary. Why? To maintain the good faith of the bank. Pardon? To maintain the good faith of the bank. Uh, to maintain the good faith of the bank. Just yeah, elaborate on that. But one of the answer is how many? Because we have given a irrevocable undertaking. Yes, that's true. Because they have given an irrevocable undertaking. The bank has given an irrevocable undertaking to pay the beneficiary. Right? So whether our customer pays or not, we'll have to pay. How we are going to pay them? How we are going to pay them? Debiting what? Because you can't debit customer, no? you are debiting which account? Bank account. Huh? Bank account. No, we are not. We are not debiting suspense account. And mind you, as bankers, we have, we should know if we have debited a suspense account, that will that will be only for one day. That will be only for one day. We have to reverse the entry, right? But these things can go on for months if the customer doesn't settle. Do what is the account we are going to debit? Do you have the account? Yeah, but then then we have to remind them. We have to system again. Why should we bother about? What take on as a pisuna to me a pit of pisunani in him a bit of load color, Gahua, Mona the entries club is done it there, debit paid done in a Baduia. It's a renewing what in the account taker. Hm? No, 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 no. GL account. What are the account again? Every bank they have the same account. We finance. We have to debit bills receivable and credit nostro. We have to debit bills receivable. Debit bills receivable.
debit bills receivable and credit nostro nostro account that's a double entry and when we when we uh, when the customer comes and pay us right after one week or so customer will come and settle the bill then we will credit br bills receivable and debit customer debit customer and again credit We are interest or commission or whatever what we have to collect we collected from the customer right so these are the double entry set right we have to debit bills receivable and credit nostro and send that money out right for the seller what are the benefits? He can look to the issuing bank for payment instead of relying on the ability and willingness of the buyer. This is what I have discussed just now. Right? Disadvantages for the buyer, he may have to provide a marginal deposit when the document credit is open, obviously, because since the bank uh, issuing bank is going to give an irrevocable undertaking, so we definitely definitely we will be asking either a facility or a marginal deposit 100% or 200% or 110% or whatever we'll ask for a deposit then for the seller disadvantages he cannot obtain payment unless he complies with the terms and credit of the documentary credit right because we have to check the documents against the terms and conditions of the LC. And if the seller has not complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, then he will not get paid. Right? He has to forget about the goods. Okay. The bank's rule in document credit operations. Right? Now, what are the bank's roles in document credit operations? Assist in the settlement of international commercial transactions. And then provide safeguards for the parties involved. Right? All the parties, we are going to provide uh, safeguards for the parties involved. Ensure payment provided terms are complied with ensure payment provided provided only if the terms and conditions are complied with we will pay then deal in documents and not in the goods or services involved and payments are made on this basis to the bank for example for ex profit interest and commission income everything will be collected right that's the bank's role in DC operation. Then we'll just go on to the DC cycle. The site DC cycle. Right. If you can study this one, right? Quickly I'll go through it. We have the applicant and the beneficiary. Between them, we have the commercial contract, right? And based on the commercial contract, uh, the applicant will come to the bank with the DC application. Have you got the DC application? I ask. May I go to upload the DC application also to you? Hello, guys. Yes, Have you got the DC yes, application? Yes, sir. Is it a couple of letter of credit application? Yes. Right. So, uh, because we need the application in time to come because uh, we have to discuss. Then, uh, 
applicant will come to the bank with the DC application. That is what I have sent to you, the specimen. Along with what? Along with what? Trade guys. With the application, some of the swing in learning. Performer invoice. Performer invoice. We ask for the performer invoice. Right? And then issuing bank will go through the application and then they will issue the DC number three. And nowadays, 100%, nowadays, 100% DCs are issued by SWIFT. And we advise the DC to the advising bank, which is domiciled in seller's country. Then the DC advising bank will advise the LC to the beneficiary. Here, the advising bank is, that is why somebody mentioned advising bank is also a party to a LC. No, those are only a post office. This is like the post office advising bank, right? When the post office receives some letters to be delivered to you, what they will do is uh, they will ask one of their postmen to go and deliver it to my place. Even even yet, right? It's like even even any job that I advise in bank, I can do. Issue in bank will send the LC to the advice in bank. Advice in bank will advise the LC to the beneficiary. Once the beneficiary receives the LC, he will go through it and he will ship the goods according to the terms and conditions of the LC. For them to study and prepare the uh, goods as well as the documents. Then the goods will be shipped, number five, and the documents will be given to the advising bank. Advising bank. Right? Then the beauty here before we send the documents to the issuing bank, not the advising bank, now we are calling them a different name. We, we call them nego negotiating bank. Maybe the same advising bank, but now the name is different. Right? Name is when we advise the LC to them and when the uh, when the bank advise the LC to the beneficiary, then they've been called as advising bank. And when the beneficiary gives them the documents, submit the documents to negotiate, then it will be negotiating bank, negotiating bank. And, and when they, uh, when, when that particular bank becomes a negotiating bank, what they will do is they will check the documents against the original LC they have received from the issuing bank. And they check with all the terms and conditions whether these documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC. If, the, if they found that uh, uh, terms and conditions are complied with the uh, LC terms, then they will give value to that 
uh, bill, give value to that bill. We call it, we negotiate. Negotiate means giving value, giving value, right? Then, uh, after that, we'll be sending the documents, number eight, we'll be sending the documents to the issuing bank. By this particular moment, we have already given the money to the beneficiary. So the negotiating bank has taken a big risk. Now only they are sending the documents to the issuing bank. If the issuing bank come, up, come across any other discrepancies or something, you are going to have it. And if they say, no, we are not going to send you the money, we are not, we are not going to uh, do the payment because these documents are discrepant. Right? This is the beauty here. Yeah. Otherwise, if the documents are complied with terms and conditions, number 10, the customer will debit the customer and then give the documents to the customer. And then we'll remit the money to the addressing bank. But I think a negotiating bank attendee seller or a debit current at the seller, be BR a debit curl up with a law. I can name Daladin, name the current issuing bank against Aldiavano, addressing bank under point nine. Then only we'll debit the customer and we collect the interest rate, interest charges from the customer. Right? Now, this is very important, this particular transaction. Uh, still, I can't remember if, if I share with you a, a story, not a story, is my uh, practical stories. Make a kawadhari. If I'm writing a book or something, then we, we can share it. And uh, you all know, I think at the beginning I told you my banking career. I was with, I started my banking career with Standard Chartered Bank and I was a head of trade there. Then in 1997, I left to Dubai to join HSBC Bank. Then HSBC Jebalili branch, I was in charge of HSBC Jebalili trade. Uh, I found the documents we received as exporter side, right? Documents we received from the beneficiary instead of number seven, may, 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 may format take a button, number seven, again, negotiate. Negotiate kalapi sali denoni, sali denne. But we do the negotiation and we'll send the documents to the issuing bank. We'll have the issuing bank again debit karla, some documents deal, it must say, or a romagala, ende. Right? Then within the, or a negotiate karla, sali denne, ne. Elimma. The reason they have given me, when I saw this, I was stunned because this is not what we have uh, used to do in Sri Lanka. Documents take a customer's letter. Exports department take documents take do not pass. Negotiation means negotiation. 
But in Dubai, when I joined, first joined HSBC in 97, according to their negotiation, the interpretation they had for negotiation is, once you get the money from the issuing bank, we'll pay. Negotiation name in the collection current. Once you get the money from the issuing bank, we'll pay. That is sure. No issue. Sorry, sorry, in the end of 12 days to 15 days, you know, easily. Yeah, nobody is bothered because all the customers are cash rich. They have enough money, so they are they were not bothered. The Indians are my uh, interpretation. So I'm the one who changed that one, that concept. I told my guys, luckily, I had a uh, big crowd of uh, the majority were Sri Lankans out of my 18 staff, uh, staff get 18, making. 15 or so Sri Lankans who have worked in the banks. Uh, trade for a single member of the government. We have a negotiation means once you get the money to give it to the customer. You are very safe. Only created trade for the UCP 600, ballot that. It was like UCP 500, too. You see that, all the ink and a pee. Arabi was a can of Kalivali, a duck name. Don't care. Kalivali, the other than Patek. Araka, Ali Aunt Ali then. I change it. The first few transactions, I didn't have a sleep in the night because. He knew no pay no documents. That was the time, thanks to my staff, they all uh, rallied around with me and they said, okay, what we'll do. I trained them, I taught them uh, UCP and trade again, and uh, I gave them a very good training and then he started negotiating some bills we have never done in Sri Lanka. $2 million, $3 million, $5 million bills. Right? That was the time. And because of that, a lot of banks, they had about 50 banks. All the banks had to do the same thing like us. But they didn't have good document checkers. You have to have very good document checkers. The world best document checkers, in my opinion, is from Sri Lanka. There's no second point. Are there any document checkers in the class? Are there any document checkers in the class? Last time we had about 10. This time? In other words, imports are exports are document checkers. Can I add a bit of something? I'm going to not a single, hmm? not a single, very strange, very, very strange, right? So, we're going to move ahead on it. Hello. 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 My, my, I still believe the best document checkers in the world is 
Sri Lankan skin again. Don't ask me the reason. Maybe we are our environment so demanding. Our customers are so demanding. They never go home without getting the money, right? Yes, they need cash. Okay, in the month, I'm not demanding. Well, I didn't end up in a big amount of the time. When I was with HSBC, Rajagiriya, I had about 32, 33 document checkers. 33 document checkers. It's not a small thing. 33 document checkers in one department, right? checking only the documents. Why? Because, uh, those days we used to check documents from Hong Kong, Malaysia, uh, India, Filipino, it was a little bit of a color. But it was a little bit of a color. It was a little bit of a color. It was a little bit of a color. Right? So, I think negotiation is very important. Negotiation means giving value. Right? Then, the DC application. When you receive the DC application, from the customer, you have a, a copy of uh, copy of DC uh, application. You must be having one. Once you receive the application, first you have to do is to, you have to allocate a number, a running number, DC number. Then verify the applicant's signature. Why it is so important to check the applicant's signature? Why? Why it is so important to verify the applicant's signature? Come on, guys. Answer. We'll okay, check whether the person signed is the authorized person. Yeah, that is why we are verifying the signature. No? Why it is so important? Contract is between the uh, two applicant and the issue member. Contract is between the applicant and the issue bank. No. By, by signing the application. No, no, no. Contract is between the buyer and the seller. Right? Why? No, I mean, I mean, I, I just mean the by signing the LC application. Hmm. He gives authority to debit his account and he agrees with correct, us correct, for correct, the conditions. Correct, correct, very correct. Why, why? Because why the application. Are so bothered? Huh? Because the application is the indemnity for the, uh, for the contract. It's a contract within the bank and the applicant. Okay, okay. The you pick up Mama. Deny Karane, deny Karane, all are good answers, but this is not the answer I am looking for. Why it is so important? Make a done noble done, they have been among a hundred plus even then the para with the monkey were over the mother doing the moment of me. Harana make Islam Patangate, Dogulamai. Lamai Madame Patangate, Mamane. What is the local Cuba? Yet. Why it is so important? I'm discussing even the very small things, 
మిత్రం ఈ ఆటతో ఎగ్జామ్స్ అనుకోవాలంటే అయిపోయింది అటువి పరో గద్ బికాస్ సిగ్నేచర్ ఇస్ ద వాలిడిటీ టు ద డాక్యుమెంట్ ఓ బట్ హరి 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 ఆ ఎక్కువ హరి ఎక్కువ మరి యుగులో కీనే ఒక్కో మరి సిగ్నేచర్ కి వెరిఫై కలది ఉన్నది తంగ ఎలిమ ఒకటి సక బెల్ అలైన కాదు ఆడిటర్స్ అనే ఆడిట్ కి పెన్నగ మంగ్ ఇస్లాం బాండ్ సిగ్నేచర్ సిగ్నేచర్ వెరిఫికేషన్ ఆన్ ఒకదా బలన్ని మీ వెడక్క తీయనేమే సిగ్నేచర్ వెరిఫై కలది సో వి ఆర్ గివింగ్ అండర్‌టేకింగ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ కస్టమర్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దట్ వింగ్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ గివింగ్ దండర్టేకింగ్ దట్ వి ఆర్ గివింగ్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ బై కరెక్ట్ గివెన్ టు అస్ బై ద కరెక్ట్ పార్టీ అప్లికెంట్ వైఫ్ ఒక సైన్ కలర్ దిబ్బన When I was in Dubai, there was one customer. Uh, our guys have opened about two, three LCs. Totaling to nearly two to three million dollars. Two to three million dollars. The LCs park is not going to happen. మాటే నేను మన బల నేను ఆపరేషన్స్ ఆపరేషన్ మేనేజర్స్ లా ఆఫీసర్స్ లా నేను కూడా దిగులు తిన్నాను బాగా దిగులా తిన్నా సిగ్నేచర్ ఎక్క ఫోజ్ కల్లా కాగదే ఐతి కార్య ఐతి కార్య లోకల్ ఎక్కని లోకల్ సిగ్నేచర్స్ తరీటకే అదగాన ఎక్కడమే నేటగాన్ని ఎటగాన ఎక్కడమే అని ఇంతగాన్ని ఇన్ గుడ్ ఫేత్ దీస్ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ ఓవర్ లుక్ దే కొద్దిగా తిని జిఎం జనరల్ మేనేజర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ కంపెనీ ఒక్క కల్లా విని ఎల్సీస్ తెరలా అర మెన్స్ ఒక్క కల్లా నియమ ఆ రెండు గ్యాప్ అవునా ఇప్పుడు సీట్ రైట్ సో ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వి ఆర్ గివింగ్ వి ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఇన్ టు కాంట్రాక్ట్ విత్ ద బెనిఫిషరీ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ దప్లికన్ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద right then ensure dc amount is within customer's facility ega therane customer ke facility ka bitumo 100 million ke lc facility ke so we we'll have to see that dc amount is within that facility if it is exceeding the facility then we we'll have to ask for credit approval okay then check where valid import license held or goods within quota limit if required um, again number 3 ensure dc amount is within customer's facility and now i'm 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 discussing practical things my dear right day to day oglange bank e veneva oglange bank kole veneva oglange bill e oglange bill e gahale aneva oglange mistakes ni an etika thame den hata gannone nattam enne ఒకళ్ళకు అమౌంట్ పెట్టినా దెన్ సమాన్లాట ఎన్షూర్ డీసీ అమౌంట్ ఈజ్ విత్ ఇన్ కస్టమర్స్ ఫెసిలిటీ కింద డీసీ అమౌంట్ ఎక్క హండ్రెడ్ హండ్రెడ్ థౌసండ్ డాలర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ సే హండ్రెడ్ థౌసండ్ డాలర్స్ నౌ విత్ దిస్ ఎల్సీ ఇట్ విల్ ఎక్సీడ్ ఇట్ విల్ గో అప్ టు హండ్రెడ్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ డాలర్స్ సో ఇన్ అనారియో లైక్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గెట్ ద అప్రూవల్ ఐ మీన్ రిటర్న్ అప్రూవల్ రిటర్న్ అప్రూవల్ from the uh, respective ARN, Accounts Relationship Manager. If you don't have any money, if you don't have any money, if you don't have any money, just call him, if you don't have any money, 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 no issue, okay, issue have any money. Right? Master Prime, దేహ గడ్డ తున్న గడ్డ పర్సే కేస్ ఇయాట పర్సే ఏ ఒక ఇష్యూ కరన్న కివ మినిహమ ఆన వాగే అయ్యో మేక ఇష్యూ కలే అయ్యో ఆ కివ అనే కో అథారిటీ తీనోద నే నథింగ్ వెబల్ రైట్ ఒకల మామే కినేక మట ఇస్తరా హిటేన మట హుందటమ పేనో 
ඔයගලගේ කට වලින් ඉරුම් ලින් ඔයගලට හිනා යනවා so you have faced these issues you can't trust anybody හොඳම යාළුවා වුණත් අන්තිමේදී එයා හිර වෙනවා නම් අපේ පිටේ දාලා ෂේප් වෙනවා ඒකින්ද හැමතිස්සෙම if the if you are exceeding the limits please get the approval in writing please get the approval in writing ඔයාලට තියෙනවා දෙක right මේ වගේ විභාගයට මම අහන්නේ නැහැ මේ වගේ දේවල් මම විභාගයට අහන්නේ නැහැ බලන්න එපා නමුත් මේ ඕන වෙනවා ඔයගලගේ ජීවිතේ විභාගයට අහන්න ජොබ් එක බේරගෙන ඉන්න එපා මේ විභාගයට උත්තර දෙන්න ජොබ් එක බේරගන්න ගොඩක් ඒවා සරට වැදගත් වෙනවා අපි හිතන්නේ නැති විදිහට මිනිස්සු අපිව මේ කරනවා ඊගාවට ඉම්පෝට් ලයිසන්ස් ඕන නම් එක බලන්න දෙනවා කෝටාස් ඕන නම් එක බලන්න දෙනවා දැන් චෙක් දැට් එක්ස්චේන්ජ් කන්ට්‍රෝල් රෙගියුලේෂන්ස් ආ කම්ප්ලයිඩ් විත් ඉෆ් රිකවයර්ඩ් රයිට් ඉෆ් ද එක්ස්චේන්ජ් කන්ට්‍රෝල් රෙගියුලේෂන්ස් ඕන නම් කම්ප්ලයිඩ් කියලා බලන්න දෙනවා දැන් ෆෝර් එක්සැම්පල් කියන්න බලන්න මේකට එක්සැම්පල් එකක් කියන්න බලන්න එක්ස්චේන්ජ් කන්ට්‍රෝල් රෙගියුලේෂන්ස් වලට දැන් දැන් එනවා දැන් එන එක current restriction about the with the current restrictions restrictions on hs codes uh, on the current method in performing to a template yes 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 abi simple abi abi simple simple vidire simple vidire kena nan ame importing of motor vehicles cars on uh has been them um, ban color can me me stop color thiyena neda right the sugar wage e wala apita arinde ba site lc sarinde ba e wala arinde wenne uh, what do you call this uh, use and lc no wage dewa then uh, check the status report on the beneficiary is held and up to date or required if new customer or new business for existing customer right once you get the status reports please ensure that you are getting the updates on a regular basis regular basis can at least once a year, once a year you have to get them otherwise if you are taking a uh, what do you call this uh, status report on a customer in into a, in 1998 and still you are holding you are holding a obsolete one because by now that customer may have gone bankrupt we don't know and money api lanka mana adune kiyala companies but i don't have to name the companies right ona tara hitiyane සක්විතල හිටියා දඬුවම් හිටියා දෙඩි දඬුවම් හිටියා ඒක ජාතියේ හිටියා මිනිස්සු නා දුනේ ක්ලබ් දන්නවනේ right if dc terms are fob or cfr cost and freight not caf or cap applicant must provide an insurance cover showing that claims are payable to the bank that is also i discuss little while ago right unless covered by an open account a uh, open cow policy what do you mean by open cow policy open cow policy trade guys the customer takes a bulk uh, insurance for a higher value uh, open cow policy policy. yeah yes bulk insurance for a higher value i mean if one of your customers is a regular importer um, if you say you know importer of uh, motor vehicles or you know sugar sugar no okay sugar import you know the other one yeah a regular sugar importer so uh, normally every shipment is about 1 million us dollars 1 million us dollars so without taking uh, insurance every time 
he goes and he takes an open cow policy for 50 million US dollars. US dollars, 50 million. The US dollars, 50 million. On whom? Very important. And the main beneficiary is the Hatha than Arging. Order my character, me US dollars fifty million in a car, but the other put up. Total like that. Right? Now you get a LC from a beneficiary XYZ company. Beneficiary is XYZ company. That XYZ company name is not there in the open cover policy. Okay, now when FOB terms, FOB term again, the customer has to submit the insurance policy. When they, when when he has to submit the insurance policy, what he will tell you is, was nothing to worry. We have an open car policy. We'll do it under open car policy. Ape managers la, ape officers la, ape clerks la. Ama, I have experience. Right? Kilima da apukamang. Customer da hara, right? Yes, yes, no problem. Officer kaya ka hana, may see nang LC clerk te. Okay, that open, open car wika tino na niya te. Who was making it in open cover? Right, take open cover done. But they never go back to the policy and check whether this XYZ is eligible to get the benefit under this open cover policy. You got my point? You got my point? Yes, yes sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, now see the, now see the risk you are carrying. And if something happens, can you claim from the open cover? No way. You are, you are not supposed to claim from the open cover because open cover never covers XYZ company. Right? It's important. And sometimes this guy is a uh, uh, is importing uh, various things. General trader. Meage sugar wal tai. Potato, potato, potato was and bee onions were there. Meage tiye na open cow policy. Then he is importing some other stuff. He is importing some other stuff. Apni thevo tractors or ya kari banana again meage. It would take a open cow policy gun away. The goods are different. I go by Hamad Dema, open cow policy, you know, right? Anything that my open cow policies, Mamma, I'm talking with experience, right? Like a first hand experience in Kenya. Open cow policy, I got the Pasia, Dala Tiaga, no open cow policy. And maybe the Maya will give us I'd be anxious to give you. You have to check these things and then you have to implement the best practices right then only your managers will be pleased with you and definitely you are for some promotions or something exam pass and don't know why you proactive attitudes in them we were banks all over that michelle yeah never it's a good open car policy gahamu open car policies abidama i didn't have a small cover there then me brand new policies Every year you have to renew it. We can request for a... Yes, tell me. Yes, sir, we can request for um, insurance certificate for you uh, at the time of opening the LC now, under open car policy. Yes, you can yes. request for a certificate. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, Normally, I don't know if you're going to go to the end. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, 
Balanona, Kadamaki, Hiti, open call policy expiry date taker, expiry date taker, Pitum, thirty first December. Right? Mata Ananta Hambulatina, a bank seller, a bank's decorative Mangarekarpu, LC Sarna Monusia, Aragon, 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 open call policy, Antimata, expire Latini, out of Tunagi Dragali. Renewal layer can be done. And open cover, open cover. Abey, open cover can renew expire. La, or do you not Sir, are those open covers uh, only for one year? Normally, one year. Some, eh, like a hatha gan ne pulanga pita oni di ta. Samani insurance policies then ne eglo band open cover policies one year ladile automatic can renew karan ne. I think I'll be a customer to Kiano, then they will go to the insurance company and they, they will renew it and they will bring the you have to ask for the renewal notification. Officer, okay, like yeah. at the beginning of the year, we call the insurance company and we check. Right. right. They sometimes unless unless given in writing that it's uh, revoked, it's valid Kiala. Mm. They were a gun, they think a gun, they go there neither. Evagi Evagi Egulogia thing, trust and neck, but that's a very good practice. So, you, you guys are having mother, what's the bank in TV? Yes, sir. In TV, there's a word I may, that's a good practice, but don't take their word as a permanent one, right? Next year, I'll leave you over than. It's regular. If one is in the name, then you are covered. Me. Then you, you guys are covered. Right? The good alkila, then I'm a customer saying, I'm a customer. 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 We will we'll get an endorsement from the insurance company. That means they will mark off their outstandings also, and then they will issue an endorsement. You are covered. Right? But is that compulsory? Huh? Is that compulsory, that individual certificate? You ask me, is, it, is, it, is it compulsory? Yeah, to take it. Because now we know the customers I'm, open I'm, cover. Yeah, I am talking about the best practices. But the I told you now. Yeah. I, but the safer yeah, side, yeah. we should take it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, some of the banks like but, for, uh, but uh, HSBC, Standard Chartered. I know the banks I have worked. I have not worked in uh, local banks trade. Mm. One local bank trades color trade color in a cargo bank with the right. Okay, Mama. Yeah, I implemented what I have learned from STB and HSBC, the international banks, right? Mangi Arako Taiman, Kagi Secretary, implement. So these are best practices. Then a little bit, little bit uh, more work, but. You know, some other customers are then yes, so that's the problem. Oh. Like, especially corporate oh. customers, oh. they say, Can you, uh, sorry, uh, can somebody, uh, I think you have you to uh, mute your phone, uh, phone carry, computer carry, mute can, that's the matter. Get a gatti gatagar never the hano. Right. Some other customers are then in it. Some other customers are then in it. I think then at the moment of the grand bullet. Api customer to only the Indo, Api to only the It is up to you, up to the bank. Right? Gradually, you have to uh, educate them. You have to tell them why we are doing this. How the Kat Kyanapa do customer can kick a Katagaradi when you are talking to the customer. Don't tell them, I need this, 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 this. Bossy Vendapa. You have to tell them why we need it. We are trying to safeguard your interest. We are trying to safeguard your interest. I'm going to go with the interest. But 
really speaking, we are trying to safeguard our interest, not their interest. Right? Okay, up it Dagan Dona and it could make them hum. Okay? Right. Okay. 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 Then check application for full instructions. It's obvious. Check with applicant for instructions that are inconsistent, unclear, illegal, too detailed, complex, and confirm them with the applicant as soon as possible. Uh, they make the uh, uh, unclear, inconsistent, illegal, too detailed, ever customer all color. Call Mr. Pereira on such and such a date at this time. Confirm either change a curla and taking opposite a carmine to return current pay. Return curla at the application naked and the But since you are going to give the instructions, please ensure. That it's very simple, straightforward instructions you are giving. Compliance with the policies of the bank, example, arms and explosives. Normally, any bank will not allow to import uh, open LCs for arms and explosives, right? So, those things you have to be careful. Uh, for example, uh, HSBC. And it banks among the glass in a HSBC gay. You can't open uh, LCs for logs. What do you mean by logs? LOGS. LOGS logs. What a what a neither. Lee got a gasolo water. Gasolo water. Gas couple, gasolo water. Import current LCs are in there. Why? They said because of when you cut the uh, de deforestation, global warming, what do you know? HSBC procedures, policies. So that, that's their environmental policies. Right? But it's good. HSBC is not opening, all the other banks are opening. Right? There's a policy uh, banning uh, importing of logs, internal policy. And by furniture again, the pull up. Right. Review of DC prior to advising. Now we have opened the LC. Now we have sent the LC to the advising bank. We have, we have, we have sent the LC to the advising bank. Advising bank at Arnavata, Api Dangona Advising Bank at Ambuna LC. Now they have to review the LC. They have to review the LC before advising. Right? And I, I have mentioned to you, advising bank is like the post office. In a post office, when the postmaster receives the letters, what he will ask is, he, is, he checks one thing. What is that? Postmaster got a postmaster checker and staff they got to check and cut. What is Stamp the paper. Stamp the paper. Stamp the important. Right? Stamp the important. Stamp the revenue. Stamp the bill. Barala, it was a postman to the no postman. Is he going to open the letter and read it and then deliver? Him and all. Him and all. Postmaster, the PM, I know. Of course, all letters take care of it. But I don't know. Me the. A PM, ne. Just a post office job. Make a thing. Just a post office job. 
But this is not a post office name. We are a bank. And it's a bank. So we have a little bit responsibility, but not detail. Right? So first we have to see the authentication is correct. If you receive the LC through MT700, MT700 Swift message, type auto authenticator. So no issue. Then DC has not already expired. Very important. Now, today we are receiving the LC. And we are going to advise the LC on the Monday, on Monday, 15th. LCA ka abhi Monday advice karna baal kota LCA ke me expiry ke din ne June fifteenth idam me expire no. Ebo no abhi te pula nde hariyat vani karan ne vani. Bada arigmin sunta LCA ke kya van no na baluti ke ship karan no na neva kwa gan no na idam se documents se kaha dan no na documents atla din no na by the time. We do everything, LC is expired. Right? You are not to pay on a open in cursory glance at them. Then goods are in accordance with those allowable as per the bank requirement. That we discuss. Issuing bank country is not located in the UN US sanctioned country. Goods are not being shipped to UN US sanctioned countries. Goods are not being shipped to UN US sanctioned countries. Another important thing. Um, I'm always going with examples, right? Examples are making a lazy way. Ticking ticking at the Ulanget Vice and then the Uluta Matagate in Nag. Stories with Ray Mataka. Monday exam at now I am 69, right? Still I am doing exams. Monday is the exam. I am going to take a look at the exam. I am going to take a look at the exam. I am going to take a look at the exam. I am going to take a look at the exam. I am going to Right? Uh, goods are not being shipped to UN US sanctioned countries. Still, I can remember when I was in Dubai, uh, they didn't allow us to ship any goods, any goods to Israel because there is a uh, U.S. sanction negative na Israel negative. Then when negative Dubai wala tiye na if the ship is touching from Colombo to Dubai ship pe kena wa Colombo to Dubai ship pe kena ship pe kena ship pe ka T T load ya karang kena kum ko a ship pe ka Dubai will end this in Israel port again. Bala. I think. Bala the main. But then the end me. Right. But we need. Sri Lanka. But still this is. If the good. If the ship has touched. Israel port. Then that particular ship is not allowed to. Come into Dubai. Right. Okay. Sanctions. You know. The available with confirmation required instructions are completed. Confirmation required instructions are completed. Then the DC amounts are not usually large values, round figures. It's very important. DC amounts are not usually large values, round figures. Why is that? Why is that? Unusually large values and round figures. To prevent money laundering. Definitely. Look at that. Thank you.
ट्रांसपोर्ट उट Uh, we, are, we have already learned uh, URC available to UCP 600 ISBP. International uh, standard banking practice. International standard banking practice. Then one, after that, in a DC terms and conditions, we are going to look at the next part. Those are only a guideline, but UCP yes. When you are rejecting a document, also don't quote ISPP, right? Don't quote ISPP. ISPP, ये बात बालान देती नहीं तो तमाम मांग के दल दाहपारा की तरह किए बाण ना UCP, UR, URC, UCP क्यों ले क्यों लो आधा गान ना इन बात ना उधर two months इतने नो कटा पिटा ISPP के अटंग गान दे बैठा ये तो बात मैं वो पार्टन कर लेती हूँ नहीं तो तंग पार्टन करने तीन प्रमाण है वैरी वेनो राइट आईएसबीपी इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड बोरिंग प्रैक्टिस ये तो सो बोरिंग राइट सो इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड बैंकिंग प्रैक्टिस है देखा जाए यानी यहाँ पर बोरिंग प्रैक्टिस के लाये देन डीसी डस नॉट कंटेन एनी कंडीश Unacceptable or impossible to comply with. The insurance requirement is declared in the DC. Right? Okay. Uh, ओके अभी तब चुपचाप करूँ तो मालूम हमारे लिए करना है इम्पोर्टेंट कंसिडरेशंस व्हेन एडवाइसिंग एलसीस वन इस एडवाइसिंग बैंक्स रूल्स एंड ऑब्लिगेशंस राइट देन एलसी ट्रांसमिशन मेथड्स एडवाइसिंग प्रोसीडियर्स राइट एंड देन एडवाइसिंग Commission and amendments. Addressing commission and amendments, right? How we are going to do it? Um, my class, okay. You know the, the my orary export DC advising. करना करती है. How sir? How do you say? नमक क्या नाम है? Samira, Sampath Bank. Samira, Sampath Bank. Samira, if, if I ask you one question, yes. And uh, how long you have been doing LC advising? Uh, it's about one and a half years. One and a half years. How long? Uh, what, what's the time frame you are taking to advise one LC? Sorry. To advise one LC. Yes. How much of time you are taking? 
so when we receive the lc so uh, we are going through uh, the lc with the conditions are okay uh, with the complied with mm-hmm. and then uh, we are informing that through the uh, email or uh, we are contact no no no. The, uh, no 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 before email you have to upload the lc to the system no details uh, we have a manual method sir you have a manual method yes you are not uploading the thing to not the system. system yes okay it was say so we are informing the customer which are now as an ekakata 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 vada kochar lena ada oy okko me megan ఉంది సిస్టమ్ అసంకరణ అప్పుడు కూడా అప్పుడు అనవసరంగా చెక్ కరణం ఒకలాగే ఉన్నది బలంగా ఆ గీల బలాన్ని ఆ యూ చెకింగ్ ద అన్వాంటెడ్ థింగ్స్ ఇక మటకి అంటే మొన్నాద గీల ఆమెద మీ మీ గినగత్తే వేం బలండో అని ఒక కరలే వెడక్ తీయేది ఇక ఒకల బలండి నేవై హదా గాన్ని ఓన కరనేవ ఇన్ యువర్ ప్రొడక్టివిటీ విల్ గో అప్ ఇన్వెస్టింగ్ బ్యాంక్స్ రోల్ అండ్ ఆబ్లిగేషన్స్ verify signature on lc if the lc is received by mail verify signature on lc if the lc is received by mail then any na very rarely then cover experience karna the mail lcs na manna daglawat na avurudu gaana ke then lc transmitted through swift are automatically authenticated advice commission advising commission one and another question i'll ask the trade guys uh the the beneficiary is not your customer now for example sampath sampath bank samira has received an lc not for your customer the customer is with ntb customer is with ntb so when when you call that guy the guy says okay you send that one to ntp advise it through ntp right then at the got up go over the then oh yeah it is karla yulla 15 minutes or at a gila for advice karla yavanda tepe ive vage commission ne go over the ganne kagend vage commission ne kagend ko ind ganne ఎంటీబి చార్జ్ ఎంటీబి 
ලොගේල කරන්න පුළුවන් නම් හොඳයි මොකද දෙකට හේතුව දැන් කියනවා අර සමීර ගේ ෆස්ට් මේක හොඳයි මොකද දෙකට හේතුව කස්ටමර්ස වැඩියෙන් චාර්ජ් වෙනවා එන්ටිපි ගියොත් මගේ චාර්ජස් උත් යනවා එන්ටිපි චාර්ජස් උත් යනවා ආ හරි ඒක ඒක කස්ටමර්ට අපි කියන්න ඕන ඒක නොකියා කියන්න හොඳ නැහැ ඒක කස්ටමර්ට කියන්න ඕන කියලා හැමදාම ඊගාවට ක්වෙස්චන් එක අහන්න ඕන කස්ටමර් ගෙන් වාට හැමදාම මේක එනවද නිතරම එනවද මේක ඔය මට මේක මේක එනවා මිස් එහෙම නේ කියන්නේ මිස් මේක එනවා ඔය මගේ ඩුබායිල් ඉන්න කස්ටමර් නේ ඉතින් ආ එවනවා මෙහාට ඔහොම තමයි එන්නේ එහෙනම් why don't you open an account with us එහෙම නේද එන්න ඕනේ ඊගාවට වා ඊළඟට වා කොක් එක ගන්න ඕන එකට හරිද වා ඔය කොක් එක ගන්න ඕන කස්ටමර්ට Why do you want to open an account with us? Why, why do you want to pay unnecessary double payment, double commission? Make in there. Take care of your debt. So, I can't take care of your debt. Kelly must stop karna negotiation ka the NTB ka ta. Kelly must ekato vama ganno. Kar the na the. On over the mai abhi pulan thara yando ne. The NTB matte ka thara vende pa. Am ekato mai vende ne. हमें सर कस्टमर को बेस्ट प्राक्टिस इंडिविजुअल बैंक हाउ टू इंप्रूव योर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी प्रॉफिटबिटी अरे अरे विधि कस्टमर कथा कस्टमर कथा एक्सप्लेन दिस It was a under the name, right? Okay, I think it's enough for today. I think. Ah, api anita osi karu mo tinita may kuhari ekine kar din ne kari may may liya gan na may ka kanaking pero mata amat ekar liya gan na ba na. उंडा UCP 600 එක මේන එක will up, upload it to the system by uh, he promised me that he will upload it to the system by Tuesday by Tuesday කියලා when he uploaded the thing to the system please take a copy a printed copy and keep it with you and start reading the thing डिस्क करना